Salutation with comment, how you guys doing? I just watched Zootopia or Zootropolis here known in the UK for some odd reason the other day with my baby sister and my other sister and what a beautiful, brilliant, fantastic film. It's my favorite Disney animated film as of yet and I would just recommend this film to everyone because I just enjoyed it massively. This film tells the story of a young woman rabbit called Judy Hobbs and she's teamed up with a sly fox called Nick Wilde and they have to solve a missing persons case, well, animals case. The amount of layers that this film has, it's so brilliant. It's got more layers than, than an onion. It makes you cry like one as well. You know, this film delves into the topics such as race, gender, drugs, friendship, and relationships. I'd say this film is it's incredibly funny. It deserves a lot of high praise. I think the casting was done really well with them, Jennifer Goodwin and Jason Bateman, respectively. I think the reason why this film connects to me in a fundamental, personal level is because a lot of the things and a lot of the issues that they've raised, I can connect with it, you know? Judy Hobbs, she's a, you know, a prey, a, a little bunny rabbit, and she's working in a field where she's a minority in, which I can relate to myself because I'm a British Asian actor working in a field where the majority of people that I know are young white male actors you know and I can sort of relate to that I can also relate to a lot of the, the actual prejudice and a lot of the racism that they touch in this film there's a little montage scene where another rabbit and she sat on the bus and she sat near a predator which is like another bigger animal she just sort of moves aside from a seat and I've experienced that myself where I'm sat somewhere people are just staring at you really from how you look or what they think of you and how they perceive you and stuff it's just not a nice feeling you know when you're sort of walking on the street and you see someone just crossing the street because you're walking the same pathway as them and then turn back and they're still going the same route that you just came from but it's just that they don't want to confront you or walk past you that they just avoid you and it just sort of does kind of offend you it kind of hits you hard you like i'm not a scary person i don't want to be I don't want to be frightening, I want to be respected, you know, as an individual. A lot of these issues that I see in the film, I can relate to myself. Whilst I was watching it, I was really enjoying it, but it's, it's hitting close to home. Watching it with my babe sister, who really enjoyed, you know, a lot of the funny jokes and a lot of the animals and stuff like that. But then I was watching it with my older sister, and she couldn't really um, understand why you know this film hit me hard i myself have been stopped by the police or searched randomly or you know like back when i was 15 coming out of the youth theater with the police asking me questions and stuff like that because of the way i look or you know they might they might associate me with someone else all these uh, type of things that i do happen in this film i feel like i could relate to it and i'd advise a um, film for everyone to watch not just colored people like myself you know just just uh, a whole bunch of people and i'd say you could watch it with kids and I'd, I'd say you know what you know adults i think the adults would enjoy it a lot more because they'll understand the subtle context and everything like that you know a lot of um cg anime films or just animation in general they don't get a lot of respect from just the general audience for the amount of hard work that it takes and you can really tell that they've built this world where um these animals can walk and live and breathe in and it's just really re beautiful and brilliantly made I i'd say you know what the only downside that I can i can i can see to it is um they've used shakira's song right so i've got no beef against shakira i quite like her <laughs> What do you do? <laughs> I don't know what song. Like. But like, so the user song um, in the in the beginning of the film, and it's fine, you know, it, it's quite good because you're like, okay, you know, we're following Judy, we're following her route to this, you know, Zootopia, Zootropolis kind of a city, and it, it sounds quite good. And then you, the song just carries on. It's like, all right, okay, cool. It's, it's a bit meh, you know? And then they use it right at the end as well as, you know, the final, oh uh, yeah, song or whatever, you know, the powerful song. But the song isn't really powerful. You know, after the catchy, let it go, let it go, da 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 da, da. It's quite a tough one to beat, trying to get a song which can actually beat that. I think the actual animation is magnificent. And I didn't watch the trailers beforehand, but there's a scene within the DMV, which cracked me up laughing. And I'd advise for you guys, all of you guys, um, to watch it with everyone. I guess, you know, that's, it for now for this you know this little film review let me know if you guys want more film reviews because i've done a few and hopefully they've been edited in time i'm guessing they're not and i kind of enjoy talking about films so let me know what you guys think about me doing film reviews let me know if you've watched it if you enjoyed it or not if you could disagree with me or anything like that and that's it for now please be sure to comment like and subscribe remember guys geeks are cool so love peace and feel under. okay bye <laughs>